Good day everyone, I am Sir Jerickson S. Chua and welcome to Empowerment Technologies. So before we start our session for today, may I request all of you to please bow your head as we feel the presence of our Lord through this prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So far, we have managed to add interactivity to your personal blog, website, and even your company or group website. At this point, you can already consider that these websites are indeed Web 2.0. At some extent, the advertisement generated by your web host, which is WordPress, are only a glimpse of Web 3.0. The ads displayed on someone's screen are sometimes affected by the things that you have already visited. For this lesson, we will be talking about interactive multimedia. Our learning objectives are as follows. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to improve the interactivity of your website, embed multimedia content, and create a viewer or customer-friendly experience for those who visit their website through multimedia content. Our key terms, we have videos, sound, online games, online tests, Courseware, Podcast, and Vodcasts. There was a time that the internet was not as fast as today's internet. Only text, images, and bits of sound are placed on most websites. Today, however, videos and music are now placed freely on most websites. If you visit CNN.com's website today using the internet of the year 2000, your World Wide Web would turn into a different kind of WWW, which is World Wide Wait. CNN now hosts videos plays on their home page, which was unthinkable in the past because of how internet speed was. Videos way back then were never on home page and can be viewed only on demand or only when the user clicks on it. The same goes for high quality images and background music. Most websites you see today have embedded YouTube videos on them to remedy the problem that not everyone has fast internet connection. These YouTube videos can be set to played on demand rather than having them played automatically. So let's proceed to the different multimedia content. So the first one is we have your videos. So through video hosting sites, you can take a video and show it off to the entire world. Examples, we have YouTube and TikTok. So good thing about um, YouTube and videos because uh, as vloggers, you can apply for monetization in which you can gain money from your videos. And fun facts about YouTube. So YouTube was created in February 14, 2005 in San Mateo, California, USA. And TikTok was uh, created by Chinese tech giant ByteDance in September 2016. So uh, TikTok is, is just a recent um, video hosting site that we really can't stop watching on those kind of videos that is uploaded on that app. Okay. Next is we have um, sound, music, or audio. So if videos are too much for you, you can also uh, record sounds. Okay, and you can share your sound. Um, using sound bites to the entire world okay so soundcloud is an example of a sound music or audio application online where you can upload um, music and download some music and if you want to hear um, 
some recent uh, music, you can also access Spotify. So, fun fact about Spotify, it was created in April 23, 2006 in Stockholm, Sweden. Okay, so that's where their uh, server is based on. Next, we have online games. So, game developers now create what is called browser-based games. You do not need to install these games to your computers anymore because they run in most updated web browsers. So here are examples of different online games. Okay, so we have this Adventure Quest, Candy Crush, Farmville, and um, Among Us. Okay, some more recent games. We have Dota 2, Minecraft, uh, Counter-Strike, Fortnite, Battlegrounds, League of Legends, and so on. Okay, so there are a lot of online games that you can um, use, okay, to relieve some stress and so on. Okay, next we have here what we call online test and this is a survey form and test that automatically displays the result when finished. So um, one of the great uh, example of uh, this online test is we have www.cmypersonality.com. So once you have accessed this website, uh, you will be prompted up with this type of test, okay, that you can um, see if you want to check your IQ, okay. Career, okay. Um, are you really optimistic? Uh, motive, uh, take the motivational test, or if you want to have a little bit of your personality understanding, you may also do this on your online test. Um, depression test, if you are feeling that you're depressed or lonely at times, you may take this um, um, depression test or stress coping skills test, relationship test, life goals test, and the bunny image test. So the, here are some of the tests that you can take on www.cmypersonality.com. So um, the time when I taught my personal development subject, we took the personality type test, okay, for us to really understand what are our strengths, our weaknesses, our goals, and so on. So if you want to um, have um, a little bit of understanding more of your personality you may take this website okay so let's proceed uh, we also have courseware so these are online courses that simulate the classroom online setting so we have uh, e-learning course uh, using learning management system and we have your edmodo so here is an example of an online um, course Okay, so Edmodo is an example of an e-classroom. Okay, and we have here on St. Mary's University the learning management okay, system of the school, which is the Bless Move. Okay, next. Next is what we call podcast. So this is an episodic series of audio or text files streamed online. So we have stuff you should know. Okay, so how Polar Bear works, you may hear this podcast. Uh, you just need to access stuffyoushouldknow.com. Uh, we also have TED Talks, okay, if you want to hear some inspirational messages from people who experience a lot, you may go to TED Talks. We also have the starters, okay, for NBA savvies. And we also have Ear Biscuits. This is from Red and Link, if you want to hear their podcast. So if we have podcasts, we also have podcasts. So, Vodcast is an episodic series of videos streamed online. Examples, we have the YouTube series Video Games High School and we have Good Mythical Morning from Red and Link. Okay, you may access this using your YouTube application. Okay, and there are a lot of Vodcasts actually on YouTube that you can watch. Okay. IMM stands for Interactive Multimedia. IMM is the intersection of technology and problem solving. It's a place where you get to be creative with technology. We solve problems and tell stories. And find ways to integrate different disciplines together. That's where the, some of the real magic happens. People don't come into the college knowing exactly what they want to do and having all the tools in which to do that. People come from many different backgrounds. Coding, web design, game design, video, animation. With music production, mobile development, writing, and filmmaking, my whole life revolves around technology. I just always knew I wanted to do something in technology, and I wasn't sure about the specifics.
They give you the backbone to sort of choosing your own track. I want to be a 3D animator and a character designer. So now I'm learning how to animate um, different ways of filming certain things. I chose animation and visual effects, and I was able to enhance my skill level in those classes. And when we graduate, we become animators, filmmakers, um, musicians, game designers, the list goes on. One of the best parts about IMM is the faculty here. They are really willing to help you. The classroom is such an open and collaborative environment. All the different parts of IMM are connected in the way that you interact with other people. Some of us do act with each other as if we're in a design studio. We're always looking to collaborate with each other. We have a big creative space where you'll always find other students working on projects or just hanging out. You have a lot of resources at your disposal and a lot of people that are, might be interested in the same things that you are and you might collaborate with people that have completely different interests than you. I've gotten to work in the trend community on projects but also with organizations around the world. Last summer I interned at Amazon as the user experience design intern. Once I got in there and they realized I also knew about web coding and I knew about graphic design, that's when they really like liked me. The fact that you're exposed to so many different disciplines, it ends up helping you down the line. I think IMM is like that piece to making you a well-rounded candidate. IMM for me is really about storytelling, I guess. You know, using technologies to see how it could help people. Everyone that comes in has such a drive and a motivation to create something, both working with people that are motivated and that in turn motivate you. The skills that you learn here are applicable to the real world more than ever. Everybody comes from such a different background. Everything that we do, whether it makes an impact on just one person or the whole world, is about ideas. That's what's unique about IMM. Yeah, okay. Now we have beanbag chairs. So for our summary of our discussion, modern websites add multimedia content to their site without sacrificing too much bandwidth. This is not to give site visitors a way to interact with what is on the website. Multib media content could range from videos, sound, online browser-based games, online tests, courseware, podcast, and vodcast. So for our practice, um, let's try to answer this okay, by watching a video from YouTube and you need to answer the following question. What are the types of multimedia? How are these helpful to you? And what are the other uses of multimedia? And for our PETA 6, Okay, you will be creating a TikTok video or a meme post. Okay, so either of the two. So you need to create a TikTok video or a meme post that relates to the topic that you will place on your blog. Okay, you will need to insert the TikTok video or meme post on your blog and create a short description of it. Okay, so once you have uploaded your TikTok video on the TikTok app, you may also tag me using my account, Jerickson. So for our quote of the day, it is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing will make you a good student. So it really takes time okay, to get to our goal. So I hope that, that for you, my dear students, you just need to persevere on um, what really uh, gives you joy and happiness. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have learned many things from our discussion. See you on our next lesson. Keep safe and God bless.